Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at the Sony Xperia 10 Plus. Now you can pick this up on Amazon, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on this one, 430 bucks. Now let me give y'all a quick backstory behind this. Yesterday I got a message on Instagram from I am Nikki Glam, and it says, hey, can you and White Shoes do a review on the Sony Xperia 10 Plus? Thanks, love your reviews. And I replied... Okay, I got you. So I'm a man of my word. Nikki, this video is for you. Now, there's only one problem. White Shoes got the day off, so it's just me. Now, like I said, this phone is going to run you 430 bucks. Now, this is fully unlocked, so it's going to work on all the carriers except Sprint. So if you got AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Cricket, Metro PCS, you're good to go. If you got Sprint, you asked out. Now, the phone comes in four different colors. You got black, navy, silver, and gold. Now for the display, you got a 6.5 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2520. Now that's 422 for the PPI Patrol. Now it has a plastic frame with Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, and you're gonna watch your videos with the ultra wide 21 by nine aspect ratio. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 with the Adreno 509 GPU. What does that mean? Mid-range specs, bro mid-range now it comes with four gigs of ram and 64 gigs of storage and you also got a micro sd card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte now if you buy the chinese version you could get it with six gigs of ram now it's running android 9 vip with sony's ui on top for the battery you got a non-removable 3000 milliamp battery that features 18 watt fast charging for the cameras on the rear you got a dual setup so one is 12 megapixels, that's f1.8, that's your wide angle, and you got an 8 megapixel, f2.4, that's your telephoto. Now you got two times optical zoom. On the front, you got an 8 megapixel camera, that's f2.0, and it's also a wide angle. Now you get USB Type-C charging, NFC, Bluetooth 5.0, FM radio, headphone jack, notification LED, face unlock, and your fingerprint sensor built into the side. So what's missing from my flagship checklist? No IP rating, so it's not water resistant, no wireless charge, and no dual speakers. So all of that for 430 bucks, let's see what it is. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, white shoes back in the building. White shoes, calm down. All right, Nikki, this video is for you. Sony Xperia 10 Plus. Now, I promised y'all this year I was going to try some more Sony phones. This is the first one. I will try the one, and I'll try a few other ones, too. Nice white box. Giggity. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. Got the tiger tooth. Here we go. Rah. One more. Rah. Okay. So far, as far as the presentation, not too fancy, but let's see. Okay. Inside. Yeah, now this presentation definitely ain't too fancy. You got a little sleeve. Here's your Sony Xperia 10 Plus. Okay, we'll check that out in a second. Let's see what else you get. Now you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, file them to the side. This is going to be an 18-watt fast charging brick and your USB Type-C charging cable. Now I'm going to leave all this stuff in the box because, Nikki, if you like this phone, make me an offer and I got you. All right, here we go. Sony Xperia 10 Plus. Now, fresh out of the box, it definitely has a lightweight feel to it. This is a plastic back. All right, so no, no uh, premium metal materials. Plastic back with Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. Now you got a fingerprint sensor on the side. There's your power button. Let's see, this looks like volume up and down. On the other side, here's your SIM tray. Now it does feature dual SIMs. Double cameras on the rear. On the top, here's your headphone jack. You got a mic. On the bottom, USB Type-C. <laughs> Shoot, scoot, scoot. USB Type-C and your two speaker grills. Now, only one speaker on this. Let's power this up and see if we got any juice. Now, one thing I will say, this phone has a square design to it, and it's pretty narrow. Let me pull out another phone real quick. Let me just show you the difference while that's booting up. Now, I got my favorite phone, Galaxy S10 uh, Plus 5G, S10 5G. Look at the difference. Now, if you put them in front, it seems a lot narrower, but when you hold them like this, it's really not that narrow. Right? It's really not, but it's very tall. Right, it's a little bit taller than the 5, uh, 5G. Okay, 
Now, everybody keeps saying my, my phone screens look like they scratched. That's cat hairs, bro. Cat hairs. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. Let me drop all my information in. Then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all. So we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. Got everything all set up. And I promise y'all, I 100%, I promise y'all, I went into this with an open mind. I got nothing against Sony phones. If you watched the last video I did for the Sony XZ3, I was pretty much blown away. But this phone right here, the Sony Xperia 10 Plus, this phone is fucking trash. Now look, Nikki, I'm talking directly to you. You asked me to review this phone, you come to my channel for the truth. And you know I'm gonna give it to you straight. And the truth is, for 430 bucks, this phone is trash. There's way too many other phones in the market for the same price and less. Perfect example, Samsung A70. 400 bucks and this phone destroys the Sony phone in every single way. Now look, I understand you might not wanna get one of these international phones or you might just be tired of Samsung and LG and Apple. You wanna try something new Trust me when I tell you, all right, Nikki? Trust me. Pass on this one. Now, I don't know what your budget is, but if you come back tomorrow or Sunday, I'm going to review the Xiaomi Mi 9. Now, this one is about 530 bucks, extra $100. This phone murders this phone in every way. I ain't even taking out the box yet, but I'm guaranteeing you this phone is the truth. This phone is trash. But look, Nikki, you might like this. Uh, you might like this phone, so I'm going to show you everything that, <laughs> that you need to see. First things first, the build quality. The build quality on this phone is fucking trash. Now, look, let me just clarify something real quick. I know some of y'all are saying, oh, why you got to curse in your videos? Why you, you know, why are you always cursing? Let me explain it to you like this. When you hear me curse in a video, it's because I want to emphasize my feelings. Let me give you a perfect example. Why sometimes you need to curse so people understand what you're saying. Say you go to your homeboy's house, right? You're chilling there, you and your homeboy having drinks, and his girlfriend comes home, and they get into a big argument, and the friend pulls you to the side and says, ah, look, man, um, you got to go. I'll be having an argument. You got to go. You might be like, oh, come on, man. Let me finish my drink. Oh, I'm in the middle of watching the game. Oh, come on, man. You know, you're not 100% sure. Same situation. Your friend pulls you to the side and says, you got to get the fuck out. That means there's no more talking, you gotta go. So when you hear me cursing a video, that's just me emphasizing my feelings because y'all my friends and I want my friends to save your money and don't waste your money on trash. This phone right here, it got me, don't give, I know I'm ranting a little bit, I'm ranting a little bit, but this phone got me tight. And it's nothing against Sony, it's just something against this specific phone. So let me digress, build quality. This is the part of the video where I would usually say, feels so good in the hands, no. All right. This phone feels like garbage. Cheap plastic garbage. Now let me show you something real quick. This phone is 430 bucks. The other day I did the blue G9. This is a little bullshit, $130 phone. Actually the price went up to about 180 now. Plastic build, but look at the difference. At least it looks nice. Both of these phones are plastic, but one looks nice. This one has that old school plastic look to it, that old school plastic feel. It just feels like 2001. I mean, it just feels like garbage. 430 bucks, and this the best they could do? No. Now look, I understand you might not want the fingerprint magnets, but it is plastic and you're still gonna see fingerprints. You're gonna see a lot of smudges and fingerprints, but the feel, all right, I'm big on the feels with phones. The feel of this phone, it just feels whack, all right? When you're holding this phone, it feels like you're holding an old school, cheap ass phone. Nothing I like about this build quality at all. Now, as far as the camera placement and the flash, mm, okay, whatever, the little robot eyes, that's cool, little NFC symbol, all right? But the build quality on this, it just feels whack. All right? it just, you're not gonna like the feel of it, trust me. And I give you another perfect example. Here's an old school blue phone, not that old, but this is a plastic build too. At least this one has a little bit of heavy weight to it. It's a little bit heavier. This one has a lightweight, plasticky kind of feel to it. You're not gonna like this, all right, Nikki? You're not gonna like it, trust me. Next, there's no always on display and no face unlock. Now, I said face unlock at the beginning because according to Sony's website, it has face unlock, but the face unlock is not real face unlock. 
is trusted faces. Now, basically every Android phone has that trusted faces. You go into smart lock. That's a big difference between face unlock and trusted faces. And the one that makes this one even worse, check this out. Here's the face unlock. You still gotta swipe up. All right, so when I look at it, it does recognize my face, but I still gotta swipe up. So if I'm gonna do all of that, I might as well just press the button. That's kind of whack. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the phone. You can hit that power button on the side. Then you can swipe up, put in your pattern or your pin. Next, you got the fingerprint sensor built into the side. Now, one thing I do like, it's a difference between the power button and the fingerprint sensor. It's two different buttons. So you don't have to touch the power button. You just hit the fingerprint sensor and it does work flawlessly. I give them credit on that. Fingerprint sensor does work. And with a phone this narrow, uh, you're going to be holding it like this a lot. So the placement of it is pretty much perfect. I'll give them credit on that. I'm not a hater. I, <laughs> I'm not a complete hater. <laughs> I give them credit where credit is due. And the differentiation, the differentiation between, the, <laughs> I know, big words alert, between the power button and the fingerprint sensor, I like that. Okay, I, I, I like that. So fingerprint sensor is nice and smooth and it does work. Okay, cool. Now here's the next thing. Let's talk about the display. If you ever been to my channel for, for any any phone video, you know, all right, AMOLED panels is where it's at. IPS LCDs, I don't like. Why? Because a lot of times, let me show you, let me pull up something real quick. Let's take it over to Instagram. A lot of times you see this, you see the whiteness right here. All right, a lot of times the whites kind of look creamy. All right, the whites look a little bit creamy. They don't have, the, and the colors look a little bit, What's the word to describe it? Matter of fact, let me pull out, let me pull out my, a real phone, <laughs> pull out a real phone real quick. Let's take it over to Instagram. Let's go home and home. Let's see, can we get a refresh? Now, I don't know if y'all can really see on this, but if you see the difference between the whites, one is kind of creamy and one looks more like a white or white. It's hard to see, so it's probably, it's probably going to be hard to see on camera, but the IPS LCD panels, I just don't like. I, they're not my cup of tea. Now, it's not garbage, don't get me wrong, the display is not bad. The display is not bad, but here's the thing. This 21 by 9 aspect ratio, I'm not feeling this at all. Now, I understand where Sony was going. You go to the movie theater, the movies are in this kind of format like this, you know, the, the widescreen format. I understand that. But this ain't the movies, dog. This is your phone. All right, this is your phone in your pocket. There ain't too much content that you're gonna find that's uh, designed for this uh, format. You could go on Netflix, they got a few shows, you can find a few on YouTube, but the majority of stuff that you're watching, it's not formatted correctly for this display. And it just feels funny. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me pull up my YouTube video. Here's the display. Now, the display is beautiful. I'm not feeling that big forehead on the top though. Alright, they didn't they didn't even try to hide it. I was thinking about driving the boat, but But this is how your video is gonna look. It just feels a little more compressed. Let me get some colors going on here. It just feels a little bit more compressed. Let's see, what, what am I doing? Alright, let here we go. Alright, so I gotta be honest with you. That was my first time. It just feels a little bit more compressed. We'll talk more about that in a second. Anyway, let's take it over to the settings. All right, let's take it over to this. Now, one thing I will say also, I'm not feeling this square box design. You know, it's extra, it just looks extra old school, extra square, no curves, no subtlety. And another point I wanted to make about the build quality, if you're gonna do plastic, all right, if you're gonna do plastic, this is plastic. Even though Samsung is calling it glastic, a mix of glass and plastic, it doesn't matter what they call it, this is plastic. But notice, you got the gradients, you got that shimmeriness. It looks very modern. Look, somebody pull out this shit and somebody pull out this phone and say, y'all, which one you think costs more? Everybody's gonna say this one. Which one you think is a newer phone? Everybody's gonna say this one. This one got three cameras, two cameras. This one just looks and feels old school. Again, if you're gonna do plastic, at least make it look nice. I'm just, I'm just really underwhelmed with the plastic look. And the same thing, I, like I was saying with the build quality, this extra narrow design, I'm not feeling it. The phone, now, don't get me wrong, it does have a nice a nice grip because it is a little bit easier to hold. 
but I don't like it, man. I, I don't like it. It just it just feels weird. It looks it feels silly. I like when I'm, when I'm when I'm scrolling through Instagram, it just feels silly. It looks like, you know, look how small the words are. Again, let me pull up another phone. I want to show y'all this. Look how small the words are. All right, when you're trying to read the words, look at the difference. I find myself squinting and going like this, trying to pinch the zoom on Instagram. You should never have to do that. Now there's one benefit. There's one benefit, and I'll show you what I'll show you the benefit right now. Let me uh let me pull up. All right, so I'll pull up one of my pictures, right? I'll do it on both phones. I know I'm ranting like crazy, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right, so look, let's pull up the comments. Let's all right, we'll leave it on top comments. All right, my bad. This is what I wanted to show y'all. Now I got my Instagram post pulled up. We're gonna start from the top, the newest comment. So we got a sauce on both. Now, if you notice, with the Galaxy, it ends at some dumb bob. All right, some dumb bob. Here's some dumb bob on this one. That's where it ends. So with the Sony, I actually got two more comments. So if you're buying this as your media phone, you're buying it for your Facebook threads and your Instagram comment phone, yeah, you're going to see a little bit more information, but is it really that hard to just go like this instead of walking around with this dumb-looking narrow phone? I'm not feeling it. Anyway. I digress. Let's take it over to the toggles. So you got your basic toggles. You got stamina. All right, that's your battery saver. Do not disturb, auto rotate. Let's see what else you got. You got inverted colors. You got screencast. You got data saving, NFC, LTE settings, and screen mirroring. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go to settings. Now, let's take it over to the basic settings. You got your mobile networks, data usage, blah, blah, blah. But you got VPNs and private DNS on deck. Next, you got NFC, you got Android Beam, you got USB and printing. And like I said, you got screencast. Let's keep it moving. Next up, appearance. Ah, you can change your wallpapers, Xperia loops. That's when you plug it in the charger, you get the little loop uh, animation. That's kind of cute, kind of cute. Let's see, battery. Now you only got a 3000 milliamp battery on this. So I don't know how long that's going to last you all day, but you do got stamina mode, you got ultra stamina mode, battery care, and advanced. Now you got the IPS display. This phone ain't really that strong, so you know the, the Snapdragon 6, 6 series chip don't eat through battery like that. So you should be good with 3000 milliamps, but it is what it is. Let's see anything else. Let's go to display. Okay, let's go to color gamut and contrast. You got standard, super vivid. You can adjust the white balance. You got your side sense and you got your swipe gestures. Now, if you want, you can use the swipe gestures. They're basically the same as a Google Pixel. Swipe up, swipe back, swipe left. If you want to do that. Me personally on Android phones, I don't like that. But you got all those uh, options if you want. No always on display. Lock screen and security. Like I said, you got fingerprint, pattern, pin, and smart lock. No regular face unlock. Let's see anything else. You got all your accessibility options. It is what it is. Now, Sony's UI. Let me wipe it down real quick. Sony's UI is basically like stock Android. I will say it is smooth. All right, no lag. You got your side sense. I see double tap on that. Got quick access to all your apps. Customize them as you want. Not bad at all. All right, so as far as the uh, lag factor, no lag on this. Pretty smooth. No gripes with that. My biggest gripe, though, is just the way this phone feels in your hand. It feels like trash. The narrow design, I don't like it. Let's keep going. Let's take it over. Let's take it back to YouTube. Now, let me show you the uh, display and the speakers. Now, you got one bottom firing speaker. Definitely not the loudest in the world. But it's not bad. These beautiful houses. This is how your uh, video is going to look. Like I said, I see where Sony is going with that, with the movie theater look, but it is what it is. Speakers sound decent, though. Let me see. Could you? Could, could I get used to watching videos like this? You probably could. You probably could. Let me not bash. It's not bad. It's not that bad. Not too bad. Let's keep it moving. All right, now, I forgot to mention, you do got split-screen multitasking. So we'll hit that. We'll just split it. Let's open up Chrome. So now I got YouTube on the top. And I can be browsing the internet on the bottom. 
Oh boy, what's 50 doing now? Let's see the beef. All right, so I could be reading all the 50 Cent beef and watching YouTube at the same time. Not bad at all. Okay, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay, nice and fast. That's the full website. Now you can double tap on the home button. That's gonna put it in one hand mode. All right, so say you got small hands. If this phone is extremely tall, put it in one hand mode just by double tapping the home button. But the web browser speeds pretty fast. All right, so now let's take it over to the camera. Now the camera app is pretty stock, pretty clean, pretty simple. You got your timer, you got your aspect ratio, you can flip it around, take selfies. You got your settings, your maximum image size, 12 megapixels. Exit out of that, put it in video mode, take it over to settings, maximum video size, 4K. Now you got 60 frames per second, only in full HD. Now you got a bunch of different shooting modes. You got portrait selfies, you got your bokeh effect, you got slow motion, manual, which is kind of pro mode, your creative effect, all your different filters, and panoramic shots. Pretty simple and straightforward. Now let me show you some photos that I took. All right, so here's my usual test photos. Now there's no dedicated night mode. It does have scene selection, and it did say low light. But the picture's not bad. Here's another one. Not the best, but not bad. That's my usual grocery store. And here's your maximum zoom. Now here's inside the supermarket. The colors do look nice. Not the most vibrant. That could be because of this display, but I'll upload them so you can see for yourself. Not bad. Of course, the Velveeta test. Here's regular. Then I'm going to add the bokeh effect. You see the background got blurred out. Then I put it on maximum bokeh. So this is maximum blur. See for yourself. Decent. Let's do the video test. Now, of course, I'm just walking around the store. Let's see how this looks. Now, look how shaky this is. This is a shaky video on a $400 phone. Tiss, tiss, tiss. I am not impressed. I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. But watch when I start walking. You see the shakes? That's not my hand shaking. That's the video. That's a little too shaky. The pans aren't that smooth. I'm hating. I'm just, I, I know. It sounds like I'm hating, but I just don't like it. Let's keep it moving. Now, check this out. Now, here's your selfie camera. This one doesn't look bad. But watch when I do the portrait mode selfie. Look at the background. See how bright it is? Looks a little cheesy. All right, now, of course, I look like a douche, but don't look at me. Look at the picture. Not the greatest. I right, got some Heineken's on deck. That looks nice. I got the Shandies right, for y'all West Indians. Here's another one. I just wanted to make sure. Now, here's the portrait mode selfie. You see the background is ultra bright. And then I did a regular one. Now the colors look more natural. Don't use the portrait mode selfie. That's the bottom line. Making some margaritas in a few minutes. I had to take it over to the liquor store. Now the night shots, they don't look that bad. Bunch of different flavors of Ciroc. And some dude trying to pull up in the M3 behind me. I got you, buddy. All right. He tried to stunt. Does look clean, though. But that's basically it. All right. So overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Sony Xperia 10 Plus is fucking trash. The build quality, garbage. The look, old school. The narrow 21 by 9 aspect ratio, lame. The side fingerprint sensor placement, corny. The display, mediocre. The speakers, weak. The camera, meh, MEH. The battery, small. And the price, TGH. Too goddamn high. 430 bucks. Sony, I need y'all to calm down. 
Now, if this was 250 bucks, I wouldn't complain. But for 430 bucks, hell no. For 300, you could get the 850, and for 400, you could get the 870. Now, the only thing that I do like about this phone, it is smooth, there's no lag, and the UI is clean. Other than that, fucking trash. All right, so Nikki, if you still like this phone, make me an offer, I'll sell it to you. Anybody else, give me 300, I'll eat the extra $130 loss just so I could get rid of it. If not, I'll give it away on one of my streams. But like I said, for 430 bucks, it's a no for me, dog. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. All right, so one more thing I wanted to mention. Now, I'm not gonna let this phone discourage me from buying Sony products. Now, everybody been asking me about the Sony Xperia 1. I pre-ordered it on Amazon, so when it comes, we're gonna go into it with an open mind, and we're gonna try this again. All right, so I'm not giving up on Sony just yet. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. Back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the Xiaomi Mi 9.